Well, hi, I'm Mrs. Monica Woods from Always in the Heart Ministries, and today is February the 14th, 2021, Sunday, and it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's to everyone, and um, the title will be Sending Out an SOS, and it will be out of Psalms chapter 34, verses 1 through 10. Um, I sought the Lord and he answered me and that comes out of Psalms chapter 34 verses 4 and when the hut of a shelter in a mountain our region excuse me of Alaska caught fire the settler was left without adequate shelter and with few provisions in the coldest state in the US in the middle of a frigid winter Three weeks later, the man finally rescued when an aircraft flew over and spied the large SOS he had stamped out in the snow in the darkened with scoots. The pharmacist David was certainly in desired straits. He was being pursued by Jesus, by jealous King Saul, who sought to kill him. And so he fled to the city of Gat, <clears throat> Gather, where he pretended to be insane in order to preserve his life out of insane. <clears throat> those events emerge. Psalms 34, where David cried out in prayer to God and found peace. God heard his pleas and found peace and delivered him. Are you in a desperate situation and crying out for help? Be assured that God still hears and res responds to our desperate prayers today. As with David, his attentive to our distress calls and takes away our fears. Scriptures invite us to cast our cares on the Lord and he will sustain. When we turn our difficult circumstances over to God, we can trust that he'll provide the help that we need. We're secure in, in um, his capable hands. Uh, question one, the end. When have you felt peace after crying out to God? Question two, when has he rescued you from a desperate situation? Please feel free to answer in the comment section. Um, loving Father, thank you for hearing my prayers and bring a comfort, peace, whatever I need most. And thank you especially for rescuing me from my sins. Amen, amen. And two of the Bible verses you can look up is uh, Leviticus uh, chapter 15 through 16 and Matthew chapter 27 verses 1 through 26. And thank you all. And please don't forget, if you're not familiar with this, um, you can also look in front of your Bible and the table continents, and it will guide you in the direction that you need to be in the right direction, yes. And um, thank you, and um, once again, i like to encourage someone, anyone, people, I would like to encourage people to have a better relationship with God or have a relationship with God. And um, I pray that, you know, this helps someone. And I know there's daily bread books out there and everything, but sometimes people don't have time to read them or they don't read them. Sometimes people just like to listen. But I just thank you guys. And please don't forget to follow and subscribe. And now I need to pray out. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for waking each and every one of us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, and please continue to do so, Lord. And I would like to pray for my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Miller, and my children, and my husband, Mr. DeCosta Woods, my church family, New Covenant Baptist Church, Pastor Bobby Reed, and First Lady Gary Reed, and my other church family members, Lord. And I would like to pray for Charles Ministry as well. And Lord, I just want to, you know, thank you again, you know, for each and every day, and also thanks for all the blessings that you shower upon us, Lord. Please continue to do so, Lord. Uh, we need we need you, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I just pray for, you know, our world that we're living in, Lord. I pray for a change in each and every positive way, Lord. 
And um, I just want to say thank you, and I pray for your family and your friends and even your enemies, Lord. I pray for healing. I pray for shelter. I pray for finances. I pray for each and every way that we need to survive in this world, Lord. And I pray for all the people who have lost their loved ones recently, Lord. Give them strength at the time of the hardship, the pain that they're going to have, Lord. Help lift their spirits up, Lord. Give them the strength to keep, you know, pushing, Lord. Let them know that they are not alone and don't give up, Lord. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, I just want to say keep pushing. Never give up. Put God first and you will be okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. I love you all and have a good night. And I hope you all had a happy Valentine's. Bye.